Once again, the release of a new product has made a huge wave in the meta, and we have what many people are calling the best meta deck. I know y'all would be clamoring for it, so let's take a look at Shiro Nui, the new deck released in Technical Booster, The Reckless Rampage. Shiro Nui is the new stride bearer for Nubatama. Its stride skill allows you to bind an opponent's rearguard and force them to discard a card. It is also worth mentioning that anytime we talk about binding a card, it always goes back to the opponent's hand during the end phase. Shirinui also has a GB2 skill where it gets 5k and a crit if you have less cards than your opponent, but that probably won't ever come up. As usual, the gimmick for Nubatama is being annoying, forcing you to give up valuable pieces or shield. Next, we'll take a look at Stealth Dragon, Nibikatabira. He's the Glimmer Breath clone for Nubatama, and he gives an extra 3k to himself and another rearguard, as well as the After Image ability. After Image is Shirinui's big gimmick. When a bound card returns to the opponent's hand, units with After Image can return themselves back to the hand, provided that there are 6 or less cards in your hand. We also have the Amber clone, Stealth Rogue of Night Fog, Miyabi. Its skill gives itself 3k power, and if you have less cards than your opponent, binds one card from their hand. Stealth Dragon, Chigi Regumo is another good card. On GB1 when he's placed, you can Soul Blast 1 to call an after image unit from the top 3 cards of the deck. And for the last main deck card, we'll look at their starter, Stealth Rogue of the Wintry Wind, Kamoji Gusa. Other than the Forerunner and after image ability, when he's placed on GB1, you can discard 1 card from the bind zone and counter charge 1. The deck also plays Nubatama staples like Tamahagane and Dreadmaster for extra Nubatama shenanigans. Kujikuri Kongo is played as an alternate grade 3, giving the deck access to Joruri Rakan. And of course, we can't talk about a stride deck set without mentioning the strides. The first main stride you'll see is Rikudo Stealth Dragon, Zara Merakan. When its attack hits, you bind a card from the opponent's hand, and if you have 3 or more after image units, you get a discard a bound card. The main finisher for the deck is Rukudo Stealth Row, Agato Go Lord. On GB2 for a CB and a G Persona Blast, you can flip a card, you can bind a card from hand, and if the opponent's hand has three or less cards, it gets an extra critical. The After Image ability allows Shirinui to throw out their hand onto the field for huge aggression, and then return all the called units to the hand, preventing loss of advantage and damage denial. Although the deck lacks strong offensive pressure, it wins by so slowly whittling the opponent down. Like so many other decks, Shirinui is very much GB locked. A lot of your best skills require you to have that one face-up G unit, so if your opponent doesn't ride up, you really don't have much of a choice but to let them have first stride. Also, while the after image ability is great for risk-free aggression, do remember that it requires setup. Without Tamahagane or stride skill, those after image cards are staying on board. Additionally, if you use skills to discard the card in the bind zone, you're actively turning off your after image, since at least one bound card needs to return to the hand. This should be fairly simple. Shirinui is a GB deck. If you deny them stride, there isn't anything they can do about it. Playing a deck like Blasters or Seven Seas gives you the perfect grade 2 game that can easily dispatch these GB decks. Well, that's gonna be it for me. Don't forget to love YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so I'm actually going to be leaving a bit of dead space here uh, to kind of artificially lengthen the uh, the length of the video. Uh, I'm sure you can probably guess why I'm doing that, but in, in case you can't, I, I I don't even know what to say. Like, like you if you if you come this far and you we've watched the video, you should know what this video is about. So if I were to release a video that's like three minutes long with this title, everyone's going to be like, what's going on here? I, like, you know, the point is to make sure that people click on this video, right? You, you got to make sure that they kind of fall for your trap. You know, they, they can't escape the darkness of Nobatama. Um, and uh, I guess neither can you. Uh, anyways, th this was a little bit of a joke, but... Um, the real video should be on the way. I have about a week off. I have this whole week off actually. So I'm gonna probably gonna be taking that time to work on the script and maybe try and start editing it. So hopefully that video does come out somewhere in April. Uh, hopefully before it becomes irrelevant. 
I, I did actually postpone this a little bit. I know the deck has been out for quite some time, but I just kind of wanted to wait for, you know, triple drive booster and ladder because if I tried doing the video before that card released, I'd be leaving out a very, very potent, like, tech option to, to take out to take out the deck you're like one of your best options if you can't play one of the decks that has an advantageous uh, matchup against it so that's pretty much my reasoning for that i mean i could have made the video and been like okay there's this card coming out just wait for it to come out but i figured it's just better to wait for it to actually be english so that whenever that video comes out it's always going to be relevant and it's not going to be like oh wait for the future and then you have the best out to the to the best deck of the format but um yeah i guess i'm kind of a lot of things to ramble about if if you actually watch the video this long uh, maybe we should put like a little uh code word uh if you if you watch this far Go ahead and go into the comments and uh, tape, type, ta type out, you know, Shiranui's real name, which of course is Shiranui. I want you to spell it out, um, you know, she and then ran and then we, uh, just to be funny. And, you know, you can be part of the super secret club of the people who all clicked off this video because they realized they got, they got pranked. Anyways, I'll see you guys. The, there's going to be a bunch of dead space here just to, um, you know, trick the people. Alright, see you guys.